Hello and welcome back to another video beer review and this time we are going up to that way up to Scotland we're going to one of the pioneers of modern beer culture I would say now um, they are you know they'll be a household well more or less on the way of being a household name for, for, for anyway we're going to Brewdog and we have 660ml bottle of their Hop Fiction Super smashing great American Pale Ale, 5.2% ABV. There is the back side. They've got a nice little vegan sticker on it. It says store cold, drink fresh. Well, it's not exactly cold, cold, because I always have my beers at room temperature these days. Um, back in the old days, I used to put stick anything in the fridge, to be honest with you. Um, so, it says hop fiction. Meets hop fat. And this berserker is hops to obliteration. I think they say that on a lot of their beers. A pay owl with more hops than you can shake a battle axe at. Radio. An all out white of fruit aroma with resinous. I'm not going to go into. I'm not going to go into taste notes. Uh, it says, to drop, it says, something will drill you down to your boots and now you to the deck. Uh, pale face warrior of the, for the modern age. Crank up the volume, get some speed and head into oblivion. Yeah, righty -o. It's dark, isn't it? Cool, quirky. A brew dog we brew, uncompromising, uncompromising, bold and irreverent beer. Beer with soul and purpose. It's the only thing we know. It's the only thing we want to know. We have terminal craziness to make the beers we want to drink. Our approach is a modern day rebellion for flavour and choice. A mad last ditch stand to create beer with actually taste of something. Beer like it was, beer like it will be. Ditch the mainstream and say hello to Brewdog. Hello. <laughs> and I think this is a seasonal. And if you can see that there. There you go, boys and girls. It is a seasonal. It's absolutely chucking it outside with rain. Thunder's shaking the house. Why not just grab, you know, have a few beers? So let's crack it open. Feels really hot and muggy as well. So, Boodog Crown. Let's clear the passageway. Got a bit of hay fever. That don't go down well if you want to smell something, does it? It smells nice. <laughs> Lovely, fruity, ripe fruit. Ripe fruit, bowl of fruit, bowl of citrus fruit, maybe satsumas, orange, that type, pineapple, maybe a hint of mandarin from the neck. She smells really nice. So let's pour out. 660ml bottle. So she's come out quite pale, straw-like colour, to be honest. As you can see there, doing my best. There is sediment in this, because I did see it at the bottom of the bottle. So if I can chuck it up. It's absolutely chucking it outside. Lightning. Got the full works this afternoon, I'll tell you. It's like a rock and roll show outside. <laughs> so, <laughs> beer. Quite pale, uh, medium carbonation, I would say. Um, quite clear looking, I would say. Once if I drink the rest of it, I'll get a lot of sediment um, in the second half of it. Uh, fluffy white hair dissipating down. It's retained that fruit bowl type of aroma you got from the neck. It's still there, it smells fresh. Smells very inviting. And it's still getting that lovely mandarin, pineapple, orange notes. Lovely. So, boys and girls, cheers. Now, I would say it's a typical brew dog got on them hoppy notes um, which it has you know as I said before brew dog don't really brew bad beers they don't make bad beers it's a brew dog characteristic for something to be very hoppy I think um, I 
first of all, we get a bite of carbonation in this. It's not exactly bitter as such. There is an, an underlying bitter throughout the taste. And you're getting... Uh, I was expecting it to be resinous. It's not that resinous. It is quite dry on the back end. But you're getting lovely hobby characteristics. Getting pine needles... That orange and mandarin, it feels very light. Um, it doesn't feel like 5.2. It doesn't cling to your insides as you drink it. It doesn't. It feels quite light and airy. In fact, let's go in again. Just top her up. Let's try and get some more of that sediment. Give, give it a good old well. Have I got any sediment now? Nah, stranger. <laughs> Going again. Lemon tart as well. Like a lemon meringue, even. Yeah, it feels like a lemon meringue. You're getting the bitterness you get from a lemon meringue. You're getting that kind of like airiness which you would get from a meringue as well. In the, in the mouth. It is a very nice beer. It's another great Brewdog beer. It's slightly dry on the back end, but I wouldn't say overtly dry. Um, would I buy this one again? Definitely. I think it's a cracking beer. Um, lovely, lovely taste notes in this. For a 660 mil bottle, I think this was under three quid as well. So you can't go wrong for, you know, value for money as well. Which uh, is good. Wins it for me as well. So one more time for the Rogues. I'm filling myself up with gas at the moment. Everything I like. Dampens down a bit as you keep going in. Them hop notes are quite sharp. Um, leave a lovely grassy finish as well. So it is a really, really nice beer. So boys and girls, as always, thanks for watching this beer review. Um, Brewdog Hop Fiction. Highly, highly recommend that. Another cracking beer from them. Um, seasonal, it says. I don't know when they stop selling it. I don't know. So on that note, give it a go. It's cracking. I'm um, not too sure what hops are in this. I'll say it'd be the Cascade if it's a Pale Ale. Um, doesn't really say anything about hops. But buy it and enjoy it. That's what it's all about. So boys and girls, thanks for watching this review. Please subscribe. And I shall see you boys and girls on my next one. Cheers.